This video is part of the series about peak detection algorithm called Apex Track. Here, we'll discuss how Apex Track starts detecting peaks, as well as one of its most important configuration options called Curvature Threshold. Some algorithms start by detecting sudden changes in the upward slope of the signal, then they detect changes in the downward slope. Apex Track, on the other hand, starts by detecting peak apices, and then it descends from both sides to find peak boundaries. To find an apex, we first build second derivative of our signal. As you can see, second derivative has valleys where original signal had peaks, so now the task boils down to searching for valleys. How do we search for them? Well, a valley is a local minima, meaning it's a point on the signal that is surrounded by larger points. Once we find all such points, it means we found all the apices. And you may be wondering, why go into trouble of building second derivative? Why not find apices directly on the original signal? After all, finding local maxima is as simple as finding local minima. And you're right, when peaks are well resolved, we can find apices without derivatives. But look at shoulders and round peaks, they don't have local maxima. And that's where the second derivative shines, it improves the resolution of peaks. Shoulder now is completely resolved, as you can see. Round peaks may not be well resolved, but at least they have apices. That's a start. We could have taken higher order derivatives, like fourth. And the higher the order, the better the resolution. But this has a downside as well. Taking derivatives substantially increases noise. And that's why in practice, higher order derivatives are not frequently used. Okay, the next feature related to derivatives is curvature threshold. It allows us to choose how steep a bump on the signal should be to be considered a peak. As you can see, the values of the second derivative have different depth depending on the steepness of the peak. And this allows us to distinguish between actual peaks, which usually are steep, and baseline fluctuations, which is a slow change of the signal. Curvature threshold determines how deep the value should be to be considered an apex. See how this peak is currently recognized? But once I raise the threshold so that the valley doesn't cross it, the peak is not detected anymore, which has a real effect once I apply the changes. Then I decrease the threshold back and the peaks are getting detected again. That's it. In the next video, we'll discuss liftoff and touchdown thresholds and how they tell Apex Track where the boundaries of the peaks are.